Doodle Bud. Today, we're going to have a battle. Let's see what we got. Boom. Two, uh, well, I don't know if say two. One very famous pen and then one substitute pen, I guess. So we got the Mont Blanc 149, and this is the Jin Hao 159. I do kind of find it bold. I do kind of find it bold that uh, they want to go along with the same naming trend as the 149. It's not even close to the caliber of pen, but anyhow, uh, let's go through it. There was I, I should have looked it up. I apologize for not doing this in advance, but there was someone who commented. Uh, comparing the 159 and the 149. I had no frame of reference because I've never used them, but I thought, you know what? For six bucks, I'll order one and I'll do that comparison. So let's get to it. You've seen this one before. My personal favorite pen. But out of the gate, you can see um, the two of them are actually like identical in length. So, you know, good job there. Uh, when you unpost, let's check out the difference in length. The 159 is a little shorter. Girth-wise, I don't have calipers handy, but they're pretty close. This looks a little bit fatter. It kind of swells here a bit. Um, pretty sharp threads on this guy as well. I feel weird doing this comparison. It's like comparing a Toyota Corolla with like a BMW M5, kind of pointless, but anyways, I don't want to bash on you if you got this pen and enjoy it, but it's just, it's a very different comparison. Uh, nibs, as you can see, wildly different. We'll do some close-ups here. They both post. Um, I almost, I pretty much never write with this pen posted, with my 149 posted. Let's just compare. The 159 can be posted nicely. Same thing, pretty close in lengths as well. And, oh, you know what? I got my scale. Let's just compare them in weight. I got it. Someone as well use it. And then uh, we'll do more info on the 159. Oh, and let me know what you think about these. I've been making these. I just get cigar boxes and I, can, I repurpose them into uh, pen boxes. So I make the plate. I cut it all out. And I do a little bit of sewing and fabric stuffs. Let me know if you like that idea. Anyhow, let's see. Let me turn it to the camera. There we go. So we got, oh, let me see so you can see the numbers there. 32 grams. I believe the 159 is heavier. Yeah, let's call it 49 grams. So, pretty big difference, 17 gram difference. Turn that off. Now you know. Let's go through some more details. So, uh, oh, okay, I think I'm just getting too close. So, very similar to the 149. It's, it says Jin Hao right on the band. Uh, they do say 159 on the back. Different font on that than they do with the Jin Hao. It sort of seems like the Jin Hao, they're sort of trying to replicate the uh, Mont Blanc writing as well. 149 is right on the front. It's on the back on the Jin Hao. The 149 is just one turn to undo it. The, uh, it's a four start thread. And so you can also line up the nib, the cap with the nib. So if you're really anal about that, when it comes off, it's lined up. Man, the focus, sorry about that. I'm trying to look at the pen and record and don't notice the focus is out. This one here, it's a one and a quarter turn. So uh, it'll never line up, no matter what you, <laughs> what you do. So there's one turn, it's off by a quarter again, right? So you can either have the pen kept band, the uh, clip here or here on the side, it won't line up. But just so you know, um, and again, posting, it's pretty deep. It's got the same type of overall shape. So if you like the shape, you know, it's not a, maybe it came off wrong. It's not a bad pen by any means. Um, it's obviously supposed to mimic the 149 positioning of all the bands and the clips. Um, this obviously goes to fill a piston filler. This one doesn't. I got in this cool purple color. I got nothing like that, so I thought I might as well do that. Um, 
There's no logo on the top. I'd be blown away if they did that. That'd be pretty ballsy. <laughs> um, again, this turns nothing. This color here, I, I'm curious if this is going to wear out over time. It's obviously some type of paint they put on, so we'll find out. A little Jinhao nib. This would be their version of a medium. If we can get it in and take a look and see, you got the 18K GP. I don't even know if that's gold plate. And I got ink on my finger. One second. Um, I don't. You can get, the, depending what colors you get, you can get like the two-tone nib. I have a one I could show you, I guess. But uh, threads are a bit sharp. You undo it, you can hear the, let me do it near the microphone. So, you know, not the best sound for threads. <laughs> Undoes, and you got your cartridge converter. Standard deal. Now this little section here, okay, I do have it here. Reminds me of a different Jinhao I have. Um, this is the two-tone, so you can see the difference here. Man, it wants to focus way further out. So same nib, just, uh, <laughs> there it goes. Same nib, just, uh, you know, this is two-tone, this is monotone. Um, but you can see the section, now they don't thread into each other. I've tried to try that. I just got the pen, the 159 today. But um, you can see this here, this discoloration over time. Um, I use this one for a while. It does start to come off, so I wouldn't be surprised that the same thing might happen here. I don't know, maybe you've experienced that or not. Let me put this away. Bring this back over here. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's nothing wrong with it, but if you think you're going to have the, uh, this is a substitute for the 149, you're going to have the same writing experience or the feel, it's not. It's very, even tactile, it's quite different. Uh, section does taper quite a bit more, you know, the 149 is a flagship pen. But, I mean, for $6, it is not bad at all. And it, you'll see, I just inked it up and tested it really quick to make sure it did work. Um, it does better than some very expensive pens do out of the box, <laughs> which is all too often, unfortunately, which is it writes, it should do. So for six bucks, um, it's, yeah. let me find a blank page. I should have, I'll just pick a page now, <laughs> instead of going through. I'll just pick a random page. Um, so here we go. Uh, I never know which way to do this, line it up. Let's just go this way. So this is a uh, Jin Hao. 159. I, again, I believe this is what they would have as a medium. I could believe that's a medium. This reminds me of a Visconti Rembrandt fine. That, that thing's pretty, pretty bold for a fine. Um, as far as wetness, it's always a property of the ink as well. This is Aurora Blue Black, just for reference. You know, does pretty good. As far as line variation, it's got a little bit you can get out of it. This not any type of flex. Maybe a flare nib, you would say, if you got a little bounce to it. Again, this would be for something if you wanted to, like, underline, just to make it a little bit, if you had to box something in, in your... In your notes to make it stand out bold, that's what you sort of do that for. Let's do a quick writing sample. Thought I'd do a movie quote. Equal. Mount. Change the printing. Just adjust your whoops. In each month. If you know what movie that's from, leave a comment. So overall impression of the pen, yeah, it's not too bad. I wouldn't have any problem saying it's a half decent pen. You go out and pick one, especially for the price point, you can't really go wrong. Um, but if you think it's going to replace this guy, I'll let you know it definitely does not. This The fit and finish on this pen is fantastic. You see my videos, I don't need to go overboard. 
Um, I like the pen. Is it worth what it's worth? That's, you know, up to each individual. But you can see just the difference. Uh, let me hold them together. There we go. So quite a big difference when it comes to nibbage going on there. Um, section and everything else too is quite different. So dimensionally though, pretty close. And if you just want a big pen and you're not trying, you know, this is again, it's not a substitute for this guy, but if you just want a big pen at a reasonable price and that's going to do not too bad, nothing wrong with picking this one up. Lots of color options. That's a win. This guy, unless there's like some odd limited edition, this is the color you get. So maybe that's a win for the Jin Hao. There's a bunch of colors and there's this cool purple color. So I don't think there's really any much more to say uh, between the two. Someone wanted to see a comparison or maybe if you did too. Now, you know, it's, you know, similar, same, same, but different, right? All right. Anyways, I think that's a wrap for now. And we'll catch you next time. Like, subscribe, comment. If you leave questions, I try to answer, do my best. Thanks for stopping by.